Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about North, North Goods. Goods. I have a couple of oils here and a beard bomb we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about the price and the ingredients, the feeling beard, all that good stuff. But first, let's go to the website and show, show you stuff on there. Now, this is the main page. I'm going to talk about some improvements that I think uh, can be done here on the website as well. The first improvement, I think, is at the upper left-hand corner here, you got the three bars. You click it, comes out with a side panel. And here on the shop, with the drop down menu, you have clone bombs, bombs, hair supplies. Well, they also have some beard uh, oil, beard butter. So uh, it'd be nice to add that here in the drop down list. But to get to the products, all you do is scroll down real quick. And actually, they have a code right now take 20% off. Use code I'm stuck at checkout. And that's what I actually used uh, when I made this order myself. So save myself 20%. And on the here, here the products here is automatic has clone beard oil selected. Uh, when you bring up the main page here, and right underneath it, it has the different uh, inspired uh, clones here. You have Odin's Ocean. I got the Odin's Ocean in Cattlegrat. Now Odin's Ocean is uh, inspired by Armani's Aqua de, de, de Dio, and uh, Cattlegrat is inspired by Nautica's Ocean. And you have Thor's Oak, which is Tom Ford's Oudwood, and Nora's Lair, which is uh, inspired by Tom Ford's North. So, anyway, if you click on this other next picture here, this round circle with the, the North Goods uh, name on it, uh, I'm not sure what it is until I click on it. So, when I click on it, it tells me it's Beard Bomb. So, it'd be nice to actually know what it is before I actually click on it. So, that's another recommendation, I, I would think. And he has several different bombs here. And I think his bombs are actually in his, the, uh, Clone sense as well as his uh, regular sense as well, I do believe. Uh, some of them at least. And the next one, another picture of an oil here is his other regular beard oil sense. And you have several uh, stock as well in there. And the next one is his beard butters, which they are all out of stock in the beard butters. That's the one thing I want to mention too. I kept going to this website. Well, first of all, I came across North Goods because of E. Uh, he recommended me out to try this, so I kept coming back to the site because I'm really more of a butter guy. And every time I come back to the site, they always have the butters out of stock. So I just ultimately got me a couple of oils and a beard bomb. And even after I purchased it, every now and then I just go back to the website. And again, they're always out of stock on beard butters. So uh, if I'm going to say if they're final shelves that much, maybe to increase in production. Or if you're not going to sell butters anymore, or if they're going to be out of stock for a while, just take it down. And then when you have them back in, back in stock, but, you know, just add it back to the site. You know, it should be back at house. It should be easy to click of a button for that. The next little picture of that is you got some uh, beard gel and uh, some texturing hair powder. I also uh, actually bought a... a uh, like a pomade type thing, which I don't see on the side anymore. So I'm not going to even talk about that. All right, let's go back to the uh, beard oils. Now, like I said, I had Odin's Ocean and Cattlegrat. So Odin's Ocean for the beard oils here is $8 for a one ounce oil. And then you can actually uh, get a two ounce for $14. A four ounce for twenty dollars, which those are out of stock. Well, that's that's a pretty good size oil. I, I, I say to myself, and four ounces for twenty dollars is that's still an awesome, amazing deal. I see eight out eight dollars for one ounce. That's a really amazing deal. Another thing I noticed that under here under ingredients, there's no list of ingredients, but it does kind of talk about the uh, scent profile and such, such forth there, but there's no ingredients listed. All right, so let's go back to the uh, Beard Bomb real quick. Now we'll click on one of these Beard Bombs. We'll click on the Odin's Ocean. Now Odin's Ocean uh, is $9 for a one ounce. Then you can get a two ounce for $15 and a four ounce for $22. It looks like the bigger one is out of stock. So I think one of the main th things of the thing, there's a quite a bit out of stock. So. Like I said before, I'm not sure just flying off the shelves or, or what's going on there. But overall, if they are just flying off the shelves, 
maybe just uh, should increase production. Anyway, this is, that's just my thought. Now, also, if you notice, there is no ingredients listed here as well under the ingredients here. But I didn't notice if I clicked on this uh, source oak farm, I believe it was, uh, it does actually list ingredients on here. So real quick, we'll actually go over the ingredients of the bomb while, while we got this up here. Now, this is another thing I got to say that what's here on this particular one it does not match up what's on my container. But here on the west side, it says sweet almond oil, apricot oil, pumpkin seed oil, avocado oil, grapes oil, jojoba oil, vitamin E, shea butter, and cocoa butter, and beeswax in the natural and artificial fragrances. Well, that's not what it says on my container here of Beard Bomb. It says jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, castor oil, rice bran, shea butter, and mango butter in the natural and artificial fragrances so here on the containers a few things missing here so i'm not sure exactly what's what is the website wrong is my container wrong but overall i think that's something that you look at and get, need to get fixed and when it comes to the uh beard oil like i said let's click on thor's oh because they had the grist list on that one let's check this one out oh there's no there's no like again. There's no ingredients list on the on the uh, this particular oil as well. So like I said, let's go ahead and get that fixed. People like to see the ingredients on the website. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the ingredients of the beard oil. Now on the on the uh, bottle here, it has hobo oil, sweet almond oil, castor, rice bran, shea butter, mango butter, and natural and artificial fragrances. Now. There's no butter in this. It's all, it's, it's all oils. Oils, unless he's talking about a uh, shaolin, the liquid butter. But I don't know if you count liquid mango butter. I don't. Uh, there could be out there. I don't know. But if it is actually shaolin, then you should have shaolin, not shea butter. So overall, I really couldn't tell you exactly the ingredients on here because there's definitely no butter in these oils. Like I said, unless it's a shaolin, the liquid liquid version, but. Overall, I can't be sure for sure what's uh, in the in the uh, the oil oils and the greenses. So, well, let's go ahead and get enough of that. Let's go ahead and drop to the fill in the beard. Now, when it comes to the skin itself, it definitely did, did a good job. Kept my skin nice and nursed. Uh, never had any problem with the beard itch, beard drift. So, definitely a good good job nursing the skin. And when it came to the beard hair, hair itself, it definitely did a good job. Kept my beard nice and soft. So definitely really enjoyed the feeling beard and the beard oil. And when it came to the beard balm, it definitely did a good job for a balm. So overall, definitely probably support for me. The only thing I have to say is that there's quite a bit of things out of stock on the website. So you're taking your chances, especially your butter, because I know a lot of people are butter guys. Uh, so... Uh, I already made my recommendation on that. So if they're if they're just find out sh the the shelves, you know, speed up that production. Uh, if you're not be making making them for, for a bit for some reason, take them take them off the website. And after all, uh, let's get those labeling right. What's on the bottles? What's on the container of the beer bottle? What's it matching with the website? What's on the uh, greases on the bottles? Uh, I don't. I can't really believe that that's actually there because there's no actual butter in those in those oils. And overall, let's put the information on the website as well. So overall, but definitely had a good feeling beard. Really enjoyed it. And when it comes to the scents, the uh, Odin's Ocean and the Calgrat, you had one that's inspired by Noxus Ocean. Definitely a really great oceanic scent. So definitely smelled like Noxus uh, Ocean. And the other one, the uh, inspired by Aqua de Gio, definitely that's smelled kind of like Aqua de Gio. So. Overall, definitely good resemblance of the clone itself that they're resembling. So definitely good, do good, good job there. Remember, the prices are really great too. So you got a one ounce for eight dollars, and then you go up to two and four ounces for you know for more money. But then the uh, beard bomb was a uh, one ounce for nine dollars, and you had two and four ounces as well uh, versions of that as well. So keep those this information in my thoughts. So. Um, Remember, Remember, keep your, your beards and stashes healthy. healthy. Until, Until next, next video. video.